What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to more Dead by Daylight. Now, in today's video, we are going to be checking out the brand new outfit collection, Visions of the Future. Now, before we jump in and check out every single one of these outfits, looks like Dead by Daylight did release a trailer specifically for this collection. So let's go ahead and check that out. All right, boys and girls, here we go. Dead by Daylight Visions of the Future collection trailer. Let's do this. Let's check it out. Let's see what we got here. All right, hag, hag outfit, toxic roots. I actually really like this. I actually really like that. Forthcoming discovery for Elodie. Okay. Nothing too crazy, to be honest. Here we go. Sci-fi story from Michaela. This one's kind of dope. Actually, this one's really dope. Futuristic glider for Nia Carlson. I like the visor, I'll be honest. That's probably that's probably what sells me for this outfit. First impression for Zarina. Fashionable, but nothing too crazy. Oh, here we go. New tradition for the spirits. Got the Super Saiyan hair going on, minus the gold. Nice. All right, Visions of the Future Collection. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and check out every single one of these outfits, detail by detail. Let's do this. All right, boys and girls, here we are in the store tab on the right side. You do see all the brand new outfits that are part of the collection. It is the two killer outfits and the four survivor outfits. So let's just go ahead and go down the line. Uh, let's start with Michaela's outfit, which is the sci-fi story outfit. I'll be honest, this is probably my favorite Michaela outfit that's come out so far. And it is a set, so there's no mix and match. You can't do that with this outfit. You can do it with a bunch of other outfits, but whenever it has this logo right here, it's a set. You can't mix the match, all right? So, sci-fi story outfit, it is 1,080 orc cells. The description says she designed her outfit for a night of storytelling. But let's go ahead and move on to the second outfit, which is the hag outfit. It is called Toxic Roots, and I'll be honest, this is probably the, one of the most insane outfits that we have for the hag. All right, this looks crazy, and it looks like it's coming straight from the Singularity map. It looks like this just belongs on that map. Tell me I'm lying, but anyway, Let's go ahead and check it out. Toxic Roots, 1,080 orc cells. The description says her body was exposed to foreign organisms in a deadly realm. And just in case you guys want to learn more about the outfit, you can hover over every single part of the outfit, and it'll give you another brief description of it. Unlike with sets, it'll just give you one description for the entire outfit. It won't give you this option at all. So let's go ahead and check this out. So for the head, it is called Oozing Bulb. It is 400 orc cells, and the description says pollen continue to seep from the growth on her head. And when it comes to the body, it is Nod Wood, also 400 orc cells. Uh, the description says insects had burrowed their way through her emaciated body. And when it comes to the weapon, it is Wooden Clamps, 400 orc cells. The description says a lethal claw produced by a merciless nature. But that's gonna do it for the hag outfit. Let's go ahead and move on to the third one, which is the Zarina outfit. It is called First Impression. It is also 1080 orc cells. The description says she attended a premiere of a documentary about how technology affects daily life. Now let's check out every single part of this outfit. When it comes to the head, it is called Blood Bangs. It is 400 orc cells for those of you who wanna buy piece by piece when it comes to these outfits. The uh, description says she asked for a stylish haircut with an unconventional color. And when it comes to the body, I, should I even try to pronounce that? Sheik Mock Neck? I might be wrong, but it is 400 orc cells. And then the description says her tops, collar, and epaulets added elegance to her figure. I'm not even too sure if I said that right, but let's move on to the legs. It is called Short Pencil Skirt. 400 orc cells. The description says she knew she couldn't go wrong with this classic skirt. And just like that, we're halfway done when it comes to this collection. Let's move on to the fourth outfit, which is the Nia Carlson outfit. It is called Futuristic Glider. It is 1,080 orc cells. The description says she wouldn't miss the sci-fi party at the skate park. And this is a set, guys. As you can see right there, it does show the set logo. So we're not going to get a brief description of every single piece of this outfit. But let's go ahead and move on to the second killer outfit that's part of this collection it is for the spirit and it is called new tradition 
It is 1,080 orc cells. The description does say a traditional outfit that combined ancestral patterns with modern design. Guys, this is probably one of my favorite outfits for the spirit. This is so cool. Besides the Attack on Titan outfit for the spirit and or skin, that's probably my number one favorite. This is probably my second. All right, this one's really, really cool. The green really does stand out. But let's check out every single piece of this outfit. When it comes to the head, it is textured bangs. It is 400 orc cells. The description does say her salt and peppered bangs stop just above her blue eyes. And when it comes to the body, it is fluorescent edges. 400 orc cells. The description does say a traditional outfit with a futuristic twist. And when it comes to the weapon, it is neon katana. That's pretty cool. Uh, 400 orc cells. The description does say a dangerous blade made of shiny metal of unknown origin. And last... But not least, we get our final outfit, which is a survivor outfit. It is for Elodie, and it is called Forthcoming Discovery. It is 1,080 orc cells. So the description does say she discovered this expedition gear near an unfamiliar structure in a lost realm. And let's go ahead and check out piece by piece. The head is Proficient Braid. It is 400 orc cells. The description does say she braided her hair to avoid discomfort. And when it comes to the body, it is dusty leather coat. It is 400 orc cells, and the description does say the leather was well-worn, but still in good shape. And when it comes to the legs, it is called excursion boots. It is 400 orc cells, and the description does say these boots supported her ankles without hindering her movements. But there you guys have it. That is the Visions of the Future collection. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know which outfit is your favorite out of this whole collection, whether it's the killer outfits or the survivor outfits. Let me know down in the comments. But that's going to do for me, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, and subscribe. Definitely does help a lot. Follow me on Twitch if you want to see any DVD action live. And I'll see you guys next video, make, all right? Later.